Hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How was your day? It's stressful. It's stressful. Oh, I'm sorry about that. My day was... Hmm. Quiet, relaxing, not relaxing, quiet, easy. A normal day, a normal day. And the rest? The rest don't speak. What happened with the rest of the students? You don't speak? You do speak English a little bit. Answer the questions. How was your day? Do you have a good day? Or do you have a bad day? Yes, I Uma? have a good day. Oh. I have a good day. Excellent. Yes, yes, teacher. I had a good day too. So thank you. Thank you. Thanks for answering. Today, we're going to have a lot of conversation, okay? We have a lot of I have 25 questions for you. Imagine 25 questions for you. That's a lot. You want to start right now? Yep. Let's start. Ooh. Take it easy with your feedback. Okay, I have 25 questions for you and we're going to start right now. Okay, let's start. Do you see the questions? Do you? Hello, okay, good. Okay, Dina, ask me question number one. Do, do you like going to to the, the movie the movies do you like going to the movies do you like mm -hmm. going to the movies yes i do i like i mean i like to go on weekends thank you daisy stefania ask me number two question number two Uh, what kind of films do you like? I like horror movies, epic movies and comedies. Margarita, number three, question number three, please. What sort of holidays do you like? I like mm, Christmas. Okay. I guess it's the best, the best season, of, the best holidays of the year. Nice. Yeah. Question number four is for Daniela. Do you like traveling? Yeah, I love traveling. I love traveling by by bus or by train. You can see the landscapes. Yeah, you can sleep. You can read, you can talk. It's interesting traveling. Yeah, let me see. Sulma, number five. Okay, 
What countries have you visited? I had visited Guatemala and United States. Okay. Thank you. Freddy, number six. Do you like sports? Yeah, I like a lot of sports. I like soccer, basketball, volleyball, uh, swimming, exercises like lift, weight lifting. I like tennis table too. I, I love to play tennis table. And that's it. Okay, thank you. Let's see. Next question. It goes for Brenda. Brenda, number seven. What is your favorite sport? I would say that my favorite sport is soccer because I, I play when I was a kid until I was 40. So I play all my life soccer. Uh, today, I don't play anymore. Thank you. Let me see. Estela Guadalupe. Number eight. What sport do you enjoy watching? Um, I would say soccer. And on the second place, we, I would say basketball. I like NBA. Oh. In the UFC, MMA too. Yeah. I like that violent uh, sport, kickboxing, mixed martial arts too. Thank you. Okay, let me see. Pablo, number nine. Can you cook? Yes, I do. I can cook. From the basic things like a egg, beans, rice, uh, soups, salads, uh, what else? Uh, barbecues. I can cook rabbits, rabbits, uh, belly way, what else? I can cook a lot of things. I'm the chef of the family. Do you like rabbit? Yeah, it's delicious. It's like a chicken. It's like chicken. And pretty way? Yeah, it's too. It's very tender, soft. Yeah, on Christmas. Arroz. Also. Also. But I can cook garro. I only I can only eat it. <laughs> Okay, uh, next question is for Fatima, 11. Okay, uh, what is your favorite food? My favorite food is Salvadorian food, but on second hand, I love Mexican food. I love tacos and tortas. Okay. Thank you. Selena. 12. Which do you prefer? Traditional food or fast food? Uh, if I, it, it depends. It depends. If I, if I need time, if I, if I need, I mean, I, I'm, I'm in a hurry, fast food, a hamburger. Yeah, pizza. Hug that. But if I have time, I I choose traditional food like uh, pata soup or I don't know how to say carne silada. I love that. I love it. Oh, uh, stuffed peppers. That's what, one of my favorite stuffed peppers. Relleno de chile. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I can eat Four tortillas and yeah, it's, it's delicious, delicious, man. With rice. Yeah, with rice, with rice, and a and a big lemonade with a lot of ice. Yes, very Salvadorian. Yeah, and and trompa de chucho chili. <laughs> Oof. 
El grosero. <laughs> okay. Now, next question. Brenda, 13. What do you do in your free time? Ooh, I, I do a lot of things. Listen, I do my laundry. <laughs> um, I do my laundry. I read, I listen to music, I watch TV, I make phone calls, I go out with friends, sometimes I go out with my daughters, um, I sleep sometimes, I go walking or I go, or I play basket. Or um, I go to a concert, a rock concert. That's it. Okay, next one. Let me see. Eric, 14. Do you have hobby? Yeah. I like to collect music. I collect music. Um, yeah, that's, oh, read. I love to read uh, English books. Those are my hobbies, my main hobbies. Nice. Thank you. Emily, Erica. Erica, we're going to finish right now with, with this one, and I'm sorry if I don't ask if I don't ask you to ask me. Did I say Erica Marilu? Hi, teacher. Okay, 15, 15. Okay, can you describe your hobby? Yes, I will, I will say that my hobby is, I like to collect uh, rock and metal music. So I, I read about the, the band, and uh, I read about the song. About I read uh, the history of the band. Uh, what what is the their philosophy? And I study the lyrics because uh, I I choose the, the best the best the best songs. In, in, my, in my opinion, okay. So um. When I read, I choose a good book that calls my attention. And I spend time collecting music and reading. But not, not every weekend, okay? Okay, now let's go to the rooms. Let's go to the rooms and ask your partners these questions. Choose questions at random, okay? Okay, let's go to the rooms and start talking. Please do not speak Spanish.
Okay, welcome class. <clears throat> I have a question for you. In your opinion, what was the most interesting question for you? What is the question? In your opinion, what was the most interesting question for you? The last one. And what was the last one? Me too. Uh, the most important person who admire or something oh, like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, can, can you finish your 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 opinion so what For do you me. what what do you say let, let 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 your partner finish and then you continue so <clears throat> what was your answer then hello the question is interesting because for me, my mom is is a good person, and I love my mom. Mm -hmm. My mom is all for me. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I know. I know you wanna say more. Yeah, because you can say I admire my mom because she is a good hard person, a very hard, uh, a very hard working person. She is reliable. She's patient, she's wise. Okay, we need to know more, more, okay? But I understand your point, yeah? For you is the, <clears throat> the best person for you, okay? Uh, any other opinion? Another opinion? Hello? Yes, mm -hmm. I, my, my opinion is is the same my mom is the person that i admire mm -hmm. because uh she was very stronger and also she always fight fight for my sister and i so for that reason um she is uh the person who admire and oh, wow. when we have uh sound how do you say difficulties? Oh, we can say say trouble, problems. Uh, okay. When we have some uh, trouble, she always um find the the way to uh, achieve these uh, troubles. So for that reason, she never uh give up. So uh she is the person who admire. All right. Thank you. Okay, I am gonna repeat the question for you. Or in your opinion, what was the most interesting question? For me, is the thirteen question. Mm -hmm. What was the thirteen? The number thirteen. What do you do in your free time? Okay, saying so what do you, and what do you do? Mm, not much. Uh, I like listen to music, play soccer, read, mm -hmm. so so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Learn English. Oh, good. That's a good one. Perfect. Thank you, Paulo. Okay, one more participation. In your opinion, what was the most interesting question for you? No more, no more participations. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. What is, what is meat advantage? 
advantage. Advantages and disadvantages. Ventajas y desventajas. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Advantages and disadvantages. Okay, no more participation. Let's continue then. Okay, let's see. Okay, we have um, <clears throat> this discussion like is anyone. This word, we're going to use this word to create, to create uh, conversations. Ask your classmate about people in their family. What are they doing now? And then ask follow-up questions to get more information. Example, is anyone in your family traveling right now? Yes, my dad is. He's in Korea. What's he doing there? Oh, he's uh, like, you know, making business or visiting, visiting friends, etc. But when you see follow-up questions, what do you understand about, about follow-up question? When someone says follow-up question, what do you understand about this? This part. For you, what is a follow-up question? It's like seguir preguntando. Yeah, preguntas de seguimiento. Okay, like if I say, I went to the beach on, on Sunday, what can you ask me? With who? Uh, uh, I went uh, with my ex. And where did you go? I went to El Oink, Oink Beach. What did you do like, there? Uh, we had lunch. We drank a couple of drinks and uh, walk around. Did you stay there in the night? No, no, no. It's my ex, so we couldn't. Okay. You see, those are follow-up questions, okay? You continue, continue the topic. If someone uh, talks about movies, you ask question about the movie. Who do you go with? What movie do you see? Do you like the movie? Did you go somewhere else after the movie? When's the next time you are you going to go to the movie? Do you recommend the movie? Etc. Etc. In that case, those are follow-up questions. Okay. So, in the first one, we take traveling. Yeah. Is anyone in your family traveling? The next one is anyone in your family living abroad? Do you understand that? Living abroad. Comprende. Yeah. Tell me. Uh, you want me to tell you? Yeah. All what right. is living abroad? Living abroad is living in another country. Okay. Outside your country. Okay. Uh, is anyone in your family taking a class? Apart from you. Wow, Margarita. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you I'm might... sorry. Teacher. Don't worry. I'm, 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 me too. Me too. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm just I'm just joking around. Okay. The other one is is anyone in your family going to high school or college? Okay, that's another question. Yeah. Is anyone in your family moving to a new home? And the last situation is, is anyone in your family studying a foreign language? Understand the situations? Yeah. Right. So take the situations and make as long as you can a conversation as long as you can. Okay, go and continue. I'm going to take a picture and send it to you.
here. All right. Okay, let's do it. Oh, what did you eat? Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, in case you, you went to a restaurant, yeah, well, because I said I, I ate, right? So I ate a big fish and a trink of tail. Let's go to the breakup rooms and start the conversation. Let me see. Teacher, I have a question. Tell me. How do you say pupusa de maíz? Pupusa de maíz? Corn pupusas. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Corn pupusas no tiene traducción. But, but maíz, corn. yes. Corn. Corn pupusas. And rice pupusas. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, yeah. Or, uh, okay. Estamos hablando de eso, pero tenemos de duda. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. All right. Get on, teacher. Get on. All right.
Is everybody here? Yes, I hear. All right. Everybody's here now. So let me see. That David. David, can you listen? Do you listen to me? Okay. Let me call Sulma. Okay. Hello, Sulma. Hello. I need you to read the first facts of this uh, reading. Typical families. Okay. In the, I guess that is in the houses, right? In the house. In the house. Okay, good. Or homes. Okay. First, about the United States for 41 us homes have there are more television. Three uh, families almost always eat dinner together. Okay, stop there. Like 41%. Okay. Yeah. Per percent, yeah. percent, so. percent, percent. Okay, 41% of homes have three or more televisions. Wow, that's a lot of televisions. 63 of families almost always eat dinner together. Do you think so? Is the same here in El Salvador? We'll talk about that later, okay? Let me see. Uh, Fatima, can you read the working family? Okay, the working family. Uh, 65 percent of mother with young children work. Uh, 78 percent of high school students have jobs. Thank you. It's 78, okay? 55 percent of mother with young children work. 78 percent of high school students have jobs. Okay, and thank you. Thank you. Let's call Brenda Carolina, the last one, marriage. Seven, four percent of adults between the ages of 18, 35, married. Uh-huh. Um, 27% per percent. Percent of adults be between the ages of 18, 34 live with the, their parents. Okay, their parents. Okay, thank you. 74% of adults between the ages of 18 to 35 Mary, 27% of adults between the ages of 18 to 34 live with their parents. Those facts, I mean, the, the, these facts are like, you know, all facts because the books is not new, but, but let's give it for granted and let's analyze the situation here in El Salvador. Facts about your country and what is our country? El Salvador, right? So what percentage of homes have three or more television according to your opinion? Maybe 65%. 65%, that is a very high percentage of Salvadorians. Maybe 20, 25. 25. Okay, listen, we ju we're just going to approximate, you know, because we don't know, right? But we're 25% of, of, of Salvadorian people have like two or more televisions. Let's say 25, okay? Any other opinion? We can change it now. 25. 
the percentage of family almost always eat dinner together. 50%. 50. Yes. Yeah, you think so? Fifty percent, that's a lot. A lot of family. Imagine that we are six million people here in El Salvador. So you're talking about three million people eat dinner together every day. You think so? The what? The 30? Yeah. That will be uh one million eight hundred. <laughs> mathematics, mathematics. Yeah. Okay, let's say that the, I will say the 10%, but it's your class, not mine. So you say the 30%, okay. What is the percentage of mother with young children work? 75%. Percent? Seventy five percent of mother are working. Yeah. Good. Percentage of high school students have jobs. People studying in high school. Boys and girls. High school is like a bachillerato. Yeah. I think it's low. Mm -hmm. and 15%? 15%? Reasonable. Okay. Reasonable. And what is the percentage of, let me see, of adults between the ages of 18 and 35? Mary. Ten percent. Ten percent. No one wants to get married anymore. And the last one is the percentage of adults between the ages of eighteen to thirty-four live with their parents. Mamá tengo hambre. <laughs> I think is high. Five percent. Mm -hmm. This is this is these are just opinions, okay? I think thirty-five percent. Thirty-five percent living with their mom, with their parents. Thirty-five percent, okay? That's what we have. Twenty-five percent of homes have three or more televisions. Thirty percent of families in El Salvador almost always eat dinner together. That we're talking about one million eight hundred thousand people eating dinner every day in front of the TV or just around the table. A lot of people. The seventy the seventy five percent of mothers with young children work. Single mothers. Yeah. My mom, my mom was a single mother. The fifteen percent of high school students have jobs. Could be, maybe less, maybe more. But I started working when I was fourteen, so I was in junior high, not a, not in high school. All right. And the 35% of adults between the ages of 18 to 34 live with their with their mama and their papa. Do you agree? Do you agree? Do you consider these facts are true for you?
Why are you so quiet? This is an English class. You must practice your English. What are families? Uh, da, 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 your guesses and uh, your day to if you agree. Okay, my friends, we're gonna stop here because time's up. Say by the bell, salvado por la campana. You become too quiet sometimes. So let's take the attendance. I can find the list. Okay. Believe it or not, ah, here it is. Okay, Andrea de Los Angeles Musun. I'm here. Thank you. Brenda Carolina Mejia. Present teacher. Thank you. Daniela Beatriz Cerritos. Present. Thank you. David Moises Ventura. Present. Thank you. Daisy Estefania Carrillo. Present. Diana Yamilet Alas. Present. Thank you. Dina Esmeralda Ortiz. Present teacher. Ever Jaciel Cardoza, él pidió permiso. Bueno, él, él comunicó que no iba a poder estar. Elba Isabel Pero Zúñiga. No entra, ah, ok. Ok, thank you. All right, good, thank you. Elba Isabel Zúñiga. I'm here, teacher. Oh, hello, El Isabel. Nice to hear you. Emily Nicole Ramírez. Eric Ronaldo Rosales. Present teacher. Erika Marilu Estrada. Present. Estela Guadalupe Maravilla. Present. Fátima Larisa Melara. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Freddy Ernesto Gutierrez. Present. Jennifer Saraí Vigil. Present. Thank you. Julia Margarita Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Lucía del Carmen Mejía. Present. María José. Present. Thank you. María José Cucufate. Present teacher. Thank you. Marvin Alexander Ramírez. Pablo Alejandro Vázquez. I'm here. Thank you. Roberto Carlos Perdomo. Present. Thank you. Rosibel Esmeralda Laínez. Present. Thank you. Uh, Sandy Roxana Díaz. Um, Wendy Adamaris Pleites. Nice teacher. Thank you. Selena Yamilet Reyes. Present. Thank you. And Zulma Natividad Alvarado. Present. All right, friends. Well, we are done. We're almost over. Two more classes and we're finished. So please study your English lessons. And that's all. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night. Goodbye. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, teacher. Bye. Good night. Good night.